Hello guys, welcome back to my video. I want you to see here, this is a pool of water. The roof is full of water. All this is water, guys. You can see, all this is water on the roof. So why we have all this water here on the roof? We are doing what we call a test, waterproof test. You can see I'm at the top side and the far end is the bottom. So you can see all this is water. We have closed all the outlets. All the outlets here we have closed them. This is a pool of water here. This is too much water. You can see the roof is full of water. So we have closed all these outlets. What we are doing now, we are testing the waterproof that we had already done on this roof. That will be telling you why we are testing this roof because we had uh, an issue with the ceiling down there. There's some water that was dropping on the ceiling. And because when we did the waterproofing up here, it was a rainy season. When we did the gypsum, it was a rainy season. So watch this video to the end for you to understand why we have this pool of water in the roof. So this water is here for the testing of the waterproofing that was done here. So guys, uh, actually today's video, today's video, I uh, just wanted to give you a highlight on what exactly happened on the on the ceiling. Uh, as you've heard, uh, Maro mentioned there was a small leakage on the ceiling, which uh, damaged the ceiling in some areas, and uh, not this ceiling. This is our new ceiling here. Uh, so Masubo, we are we are back here. Yeah. Uh, the boss called us and told us uh, yeah. there was a problem with the roof, yeah. the ceiling that we did last time, yeah. and uh, we came back here yeah. just to see what was happening. So, what happened? Actually, for me, <laughs> what I can just say that, well, let me say it's not that that much that had just been demanded. Mm -hmm. But let me say that so, you know, in every place, mm -hmm. you know, there's just construction, and mm -hmm. you just come back and just confirm your work if it's just good. Uh, uh, guys, yeah, just come and just see if his work is just perfect. Mm -hmm. But guys, I'm just seeing that everything just good over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I wanted to know what happened to the ceiling. Yeah. And uh, how how it, it got soaked with the water. It's 
it's, it started like, it seems that the time which you are just doing the terrace over there, mm -hmm. there's a motor that penetrates inside the slab, mm -hmm. and that water maybe they, they were just dropping to the ceiling, mm -hmm. and then they, they made it to float after oh, losing it. After some yeah, to after soak to the that, water? Yeah, that is like a couple of some months, mm -hmm. because the months have just been passed, so mm -hmm. after there, now it, it just... Just it breaks, soaked and then yeah, it, it, it fell it down. And then it just fell. Mm. Yeah. So guys, we are talking about that area. Yeah. Those people who have seen this beautiful ceiling will be shocked to see this. This is how it looks. We have already removed the, the damaged part yeah. from the ceiling. When we were doing the terrazzo, when we came uh, at the villa in November, yeah. we met our client who is Ayam Marwa. Yeah and he told us to do for him a ceiling. Yeah. And uh, when we came in November, it was not raining. Yeah. So we just want to show them that ceiling. So when we came in November, it was not raining. Yeah. And uh, we fixed our ceiling yeah. and it was so beautiful, guys, so beautiful. It was so beautiful. So after we fixed our ceiling, yeah. because uh, I was new in this place, and uh, I just came, and uh, my first meeting with the boss, actually yeah. the first day I met the boss yeah. with uh, Mara, we discussed about the ceiling and the kitchen, and he told me, okay, because the party is coming, can you fix the ceiling very fast? We fix the ceiling in three weeks. Yeah. And uh, the ceiling was so perfect, and it was nicely done. So we fixed it. And uh, we went, we went ahead with other jobs, we fixed the doors, we fixed other things here. Yeah. And then uh, immediately after we fixed the ceiling, yeah. then the rainy seasons came. Yeah. And then it started raining. So when it started raining, yeah. that's when we realized that uh, there were so many, let, let us show them the other place. Okay. The, show me the other place that was leaking. Uh, when it was, during the party, there were so many areas that were leaking. Yeah. Uh, here I see from the beautiful terrazzo. Yeah, it is still blessing. So, yeah. so guys, if you can see this, all this is the, the damage of water. Yeah. And uh, when we were here during the party, I remember every time it would rain, there was so there was too much water dropping over here. Too much water dropping. So you can see all this is the effect of the water. So when it started raining, we realized that the slab was so porous in many other areas, even in the, in the, in the bedroom, the master bedroom there, it was leaking very much. So we, we, it, 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 it rained so much and the ceiling was leaking. It was soaking in a lot of water and it was leaking inside almost everywhere. Yeah. So we decided to, uh, we gave our boss an option of uh, doing the waterproofing. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, as I continue telling them my story, yeah. I'll continue with that story, guys, just yeah. remember that. Yeah. So I just want us Masubo to show us where the ceiling was, yeah. so that I can release him, and then I'll continue yeah. telling you the story, how it happened, because it is very important that we explain this to yeah. people who are not here to understand. Let me say the most part which was just affecting is that this uh, side. Mm -hmm. For the terrazzo. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I'm just hoping that because we just came over here, mm. the rubber dam had just came over here. Mm. I think you have just come up with a great suggestion, but this is the same thing we just leaked. Mm. There's no other problem over here, but it's just only over here. The leakage. Yeah, the leakage. So, which area was affected most? Which area fell down first? Because my because guys came and cut. Yeah, they came, they came and cut, but this, mm. this part? This part, yeah. yeah. So, this part fell down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So guys, what happened is there was uh, some droplets of water coming from the slab dropping on the ceiling and uh, the drops was, were very, very small. Yeah. Okay, I want you to tell me one thing. After the ceiling fell down, yeah, it had some water above the ceiling, yeah? A lot of water which poured down, yeah? After the water poured down, after that, uh, was, it, was it a lot of water coming down or it just, was it just let some see, drops? Let me say, hmm? now here, like how I just observed that. Mm. This water gathered itself. Mm. And I'm asking, was it a lot of water after the ceiling has dropped? It no, was dropping. After, no, after the ceiling has just dropped, mm. 
the, it was just only the drop. The drops that was coming down. The ceiling drop, actually, mm. it just cracked like, it just put like it a, cracked. a uh. crack, which the water just coming toward the Oh, so the water was coming through the ceiling, yeah, through the ceiling but the yeah. ceiling was still up there, yeah. so it was still dropping down. But okay. when it just dropped, that uh. water stopped and it just started to drop, like drops. Like it drops slowly, slowly, yeah. slowly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much, Ms. Subo. Okay. I will release you. Okay. I will continue explaining to my people okay. uh, what I think really happened. So, guys, uh, what happened here is uh, I remember very well when we, uh, when we fitted this ceiling in December. Uh, in November, it was not raining. And then uh, it started raining in December. And I think we were still here and we were still doing the final touch ups of paint on the ceiling. It started raining. And uh, when it started raining, this area where it has been leakages, it was, I think the slab was absorbing water very slowly, slowly absorbing water. Because uh, when you are here, there were so many other areas that were, that were dropping water, too much water. There's one area that I know that I'll show you, one area that I know of that I, I saw. Uh, drop a lot of water when I was still here and we noticed and we showed our client uh, that's when we if you remember watching my videos there's a day we did a first aid on the roof just to protect this ceiling and this was the place this place here this place here was damaged in December when we were still here it was damaged in December when we were still here. There was so much water dropping over here. You could see actually the water dropping from the ceiling to the bottom. You could see it dropping from here. So what happened, we told the boss because uh, it was still raining and we could not do the whole ceiling because the budget was too big. I told him that we can do a small first aid. So if you saw in my, our video, we did waterproofing along this line on the rooftop and also in the bedroom to prevent, just to do a first aid, to prevent the water from soaking into the slab. So I just wanted to make this short video to explain because uh, our boss had mentioned that uh, his roof is leaking. And when you say the roof is leaking and uh, we, had, we had already done the waterproofing, then there becomes a question, what was the waterproofing for? Is it effective or is it not effective? So what I just want to let you know is that um, as I speak right now, uh, I'm going to go up the roof and show you the water that is on the roof. And as you can see, there's no water that is dropping. The ground is dry. You can see this place here. This place had so much water dropping a few days ago. Right now it's dry. Okay, this place here, right now there's no droplets. And uh, so there was this place here, I'll show you. There was this place here. You can see we have put uh, ventilation over there just to uh, eliminate the moisture uh, on the slab. And uh, you can also see we were fitting the fans. And the ceiling now is looking very new. It's looking very new. So continue watching this video. We came and repaired the ceiling. There was uh, some leakage and then there was a lot of water that was on top of the gypsum. It could not come down. So it was all over the gypsum up there. And then the gypsum soaked and then some part of the gypsum, we had to remove it. So please watch this video as we explain what happened. I'll show you on the rooftop, on the rooftop where we had done the terrazzo. Those who have been following this channel, uh, you know very well that uh, when you are here in December and January, it was raining very hard and the house was leaking all over. You can see some of the repercussions of the leaking roof, but right now it's already dry, so it just needs painting. All these were the leakages. Water could literally drop from the ceiling to the bottom. It could literally drop almost everywhere in this house. All this side the effect of water. So if you have your ceiling looking like this, guys, just know this is moisture. 
or its water being affected by the ceiling being affected by water. So I'll be taking you to the top because when it was raining, there was water all over this house. So we decided to do the terrazzo. And this is the terrazzo that we did. Uh, this is the terrazzo that we did sometimes back. And uh, up to now, we've not had any problem. Any problem apart from a few areas, which is uh, this area over here. This area over here. We realized that uh, our terrazzo did not hold very well. I think uh, two or three boxes over here. This is where the ceiling was leaking from below. So the terrazzo did not hold properly and uh, you remember those who have been watching our videos when we were doing this this uh, up here it was raining very hard and i'm suspecting that uh, when we did the screed or the membrane it was uh, it was it was raining and it, it did not hold very well so we are going to we are going to to replace at least two boxes here because as we have seen the whole house is intact only that one area in the living room that was leaking it had some droplets of water and uh, we just found out that uh, it's around this area here around two boxes that we need to remove and replace so if you are following our videos when we are doing the terrazzo we explained and said uh, that um, uh, the reason as to why we had to use these black strips is to separate the boxes so that in case there's any repair because uh, there's always a repair when you do anything there's always a repair and uh, that's why we put those uh, black lines there so when we come we'll just remove one box and another one it will not damage the other one and then we can replace those two boxes and we, by doing that we will have solved the problem for the for the ceiling so the rest of the part is intact we have not had any cases of water leakages so that shows that our ceiling our, our waterproofing was uh, was okay in the rest of the areas because we have not received any any leakages downstairs only apart from the living area so uh, that's what i wanted to explain today that uh, we had that small leakages but we are back here and we are looking into it and we are going to sort it out so uh, such things happens but uh, the rest of the area is good and we are going to take care of that so we will make sure that we sort out that so that our ceiling is safe so today's video i just wanted to explain that a very small droplets of water very small it could drop like one drop one drop maybe in the in two minutes or three minutes a very small drop but because it was above the ceiling and it did that for a long time all the rainy season there was a lot of water accumulated over the, you know, on top of the ceiling and then the gypsum board uh, had to it is soaked and then we had to bring it down so that's another thing that you should uh, take precaution before you do gypsum ceiling in your house make sure that uh, there's no leakages because if there's any leakages you can be sure that you are going to replace the ceiling so uh, that's what i wanted to explain to you guys for today so that just to clear the air uh, people have been saying hey, what is happening with the ceiling what is happening so we are just here to correct that those are things that happen sometimes you do something and it didn't come out well and then you just handle it but uh, the rest of the place the whole procedure we followed the the best procedure we did the membrane then we did the the screed we did the screed then we did the membrane then we did the, the terrazzo which was all good only apart from that one area that only had some little droplets of water and uh, that's what we are handling right now we are going to solve it so thank you for watching this video guys continue watching this video to the end and also as we showcase to you what we are doing and other jobs that are going on thank you very much beautiful light
steam. Guys, there has been a renovation in the for the pigeon holes. Yes, Looking yes. very beautiful. It's very challenging. Very challenging. Where is the yes. smallest one? This is the commander himself. I think it should be going for taking care of the down. birds. Let's check somewhere down there. There is it? Very small. The young one. Somewhere there. Let's check something. There's a very small one, you remember? <laughs> Guys, these are the big, the big pigeons. They are very small. We have same eggs size. here. Same size. Yeah. Uh, let them get kids. Yeah. From this one. Otherwise, they it will die. Here there are two. There are two big ones. They are chilling. Like this one. Uh, which size? Yeah, the same size. That's one. Yeah. Okay. Can you bring it up there? Yeah, let me bring it here. Uh, this pigeon will have to do extra work. Because normally they only feed two. Now we have three in each box. So the mother can't the it, they cannot identify the young yeah, ones. When they are very small like this, it's very hard. Oh, okay. It's very hard. Let's see how they will go. We'll check them after two days. Because after they are confused, yeah? No, we'll check them up. After two hours, we'll be checking. Two them. hours, you'll yeah. you come. Because the thing is, because you migrated them, the original mom, because the house is in new. Oh, the house is new, so they, they, they are confused. Remember. They don't remember where they are. The apartment it's very hard is. For them. It's like <laughs> you when you go in a new estate, you mm. don't even reach your house. Yeah, even me, I've, I've knocked on a neighbor's yeah, door. <laughs> Twice. You see, like this one, they are crying, they are very hungry. Even here, we have. The one, one who usually feed us, they will be crying. Let me see here. I think there could be something here. You see, like those ones crying, that means they are very hungry. Okay, here there are three. And come on, give me one over there. I put here. There are two here. Let us see who is the smallest, this one. And then there's a pigeon which died and nobody removed it. So, mm -hmm. it's part of it. Yes, that's, that's one or two? There are two now. Let I decide to bring the small one. Okay. So, and guys, this is a new house. This is a whole new like, apartment yeah, for the pigeons. Ones. And they have young ones. It's, it's so what happened? Ones. They have to migrate the young ones, and they forgot to actually not forget, forgot, but because the the houses are new, the mother cannot identify the children. Yeah, so they have to get new apartments. His father can identify this one. There is this one. Uh, you know this one? Ah, oh, this one is big. This one the father can identify. Yeah. This one. So this one's Uncle Mo. It's the father who feeds. But I think we should move them up. They are very hungry. Yeah, this one is too big. They are very hungry. Beautiful. You know this one, it is very... But you see this one, so it's, we can feed them Uncle Mo. I don't know if they can survive. This one is... You see like that one already, the father is back to feed them. 
Yeah, this one is get food. Here they are very hungry. They are looking for food. So that one is feeding. It's feeding the the new one. The new one. Yes. Mm. Let me see this here. Man. We can move this 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 bird. Yeah. I wish I can get I can get Maybe, one. Let me bring it. We have more pigeon also on the roof. Yeah, or I step here and come more slowly and go. As far as you can Okay, we can come in this land. We are very hungry. Mm. Now the pigeons here have to do extra work to feed. Like those two, we need to remove them there and add them to somewhere else. Somewhere where the father is feeding. Yes. I wish I can get like two places where there is one, one, one. That will be it. Right, like right up here. The, up there we have young ones. Yeah, I want to check. Okay, no, let me see. Just yes, climb. Let me climb slowly and see. I'll go slowly and see. I'll go slowly and see. Okay. So guys, we have a lot of birds here. We have a lot of birds and the commando himself has taken it upon himself to go up there and rescue the young ones. What happened is that they did a new pigeon hole. Actually, they built them a, a whole new apartment, like 10 floors apartment. So they have forgotten their homes and they even forgot their young ones. These birds are just so beautiful. I cannot do my video in this villa without showing you guys the birds. I just love these birds. So we have the birds here. And then I'll show you the horses. These are the horses, guys. the horse and we have pigeons here what a beautiful scenery It looks so beautiful, guys. The birds, sheep. The compound is full of animals and birds. They are decorating the compound very well. Mm. is eating food for the pigeons. Yeah, so those are the horses, guys. Those are horses. They're eating pigeon food. So Uncle Mo had to chase them away. Yeah, so this is the status of the villa and its environment. It's in its environs. English is not water. Yeah, so uh, let's go inside, guys. Uh, I'll be showing you uh, just uh, the progress the progress on what we are doing let's just see what is happening inside here the beautiful villa yeah the beautiful lightings beautiful ceilings 
and our beautiful fans over there. Uh, they look so beautiful. The fans are so beautiful, guys, from here. Wow, they're just so amazing. They are balancing very well in between the chandelier. The chandelier is in between. Yeah, so I'll show you up there what we are doing right now. Uh, today we managed to open the door. We had lost the key to this door, but now it is open. We're also doing another some ceiling over here. This is a ceiling. This is a setup. We'll also be doing another small setup here. So I just want to show you what is happening up here. <sighs> so this is our ceiling up here. So this is the setup. We're still doing the setup guys. So we're setting up this ceiling. And this is how it is coming along. So just continue watch our videos. We'll be showing you this when it's complete. Yeah, those are the fans. The fan from above. They're looking so beautiful. Yeah, guys, so uh, continue watching this video as we show you the progress of the villa, the transformation of the villa.